Hello everyone, Supreme Decisions here, and today I want to talk to you about something you probably heard me speak of at nauseum. Well, the Fighting Words Doctrine, and it gave you the context of federal code statutes and Supreme Court decisions outweigh state statutes, codes, and ordinances. Now, I'm going to go into one that you haven't heard me speak about, but it's a 1987 case. And the reason you haven't heard me speak about it is because it's outside the fighting words doctrine. But, when we come back, I'm going to get into it, and it's going to be very informative for you. Because this is, again, part of weaponizing your defense. Play the intro. Well, today I actually want to talk to you about this case because I want you to understand the importance of this case and how to effectively apply it. In the city of Houston, you know, Texas, V. Hill, 482 U.S. 451, 1987. And basically what it states it in its holding, let's put it that way. A municipal ordinance that makes it unlawful to interrupt a police officer in the performance of his duty is a substantially overbroad and therefore invalid on the face under the First Amendment. The ordinance, this is one that can be used when you're challenging, let's say, the officer says, you're interrupting our investigation when the officer is actually disengaging from the investigation to actually confront you. These are the things that most of us have no clue of how they work, but this is one of the statutes or cases that you stand on because this is the actual law. Because I've gone over several options which state that you are allowed to, one, film the police officers during the performance of their duties. Why? Because they have a fiduciary duty to you and they are servants of the public. So when you are speaking with a police officer, they have a fiduciary duty to you to be amenable at all times. Now, for those that don't have any clue what that word means, look it up. Google's here for everyone. And it goes under the constitutionally protected First Amendment. That's why I constantly speak about the fighting words doctrine, because they weaponize it and criminalize life against you. These are the things that I'm looking to bring forth and also make sure we're able to challenge when we're going to court to not only not give up rights that we are ordained to have just by being human, but to effect change and having them do their job properly. You know, the one they signed up for. So if they are unable or don't even understand the law, be sure we also remember there are two ways a police officer loses qualified immunity. Willful actions and through ignorance. If they don't know the law, how can they then enforce the law? Don't forget to continue to support the channel. Don't forget to support the podcast, the Supreme Decision Legal Minute podcast that airs every Monday, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Supreme out.